We're very proud to count the Freie Universität and UNICA amongst Scholars at Risk members. My life just took a wild turn and I was thrown into an atmosphere that I had no choice but to become politically active. Seven years ago, I was teaching comparative literature. My students' innocent declarations put me in danger. I was called a leader of a provincial cessation, arrested, imprisoned, in sordid conditions. I came to admit that I was much dead as alive. July 21st, 2009, I applied political asylum in Germany. Everything from censorship to wrongful dismissal, surveillance in their classrooms, imprisonment, interrogations, threats to a scholar's life and liberty, defamation, travel restrictions, threats, dismissal, and physical harassment. Death was for the government the surest way to get rid of a stubborn scholar. Science uh, is every serious and systematic attempt to de determine the truth. And I chose that just risking everything was more valuable than living a lie. We also see status-based attacks, and these are instances where scholars are attacked simply because they are scholars. And we focus so much on prices at risk that we forgot our values at risk. The most horrible thing about being a refugee is having no perspective in life. We need to ensure that the institutions are in place uh, such, so that they function at times of conflict. Uh, it is a great pleasure on behalf of UNICA to, to welcome you. Sharing, learning, adding value. To what role do European universities play? And the principles of freedom and internationality have guided the Freie Universität since it was funded in 1948. We now have a budget for receiving a scholar so that we can receive someone every year. And many scholars around the world through the embassies in the Congo, were able to avoid my death in prison. I think there is a, a clear example of how you not only protect the lives of the people, but also how you support people with this project. The movement has come from the institutions. It's not just in times of conflict that academic freedom is important, but in times of peace. Many universities felt this an important mission to learn from each other, to share values, but also to add value to society.